Hey guys, this is Odd1 Gaming. This is going to be another Raid Shadow Legends video. I just want to say in advance, uh, I'm not feeling too well. I have a really bad cold that's that's been uh, you know kicking my butt for the last uh, few days. So if I'm gonna be coughing through this video, I apologize. It's just you know I really wanted to make a video because I had to pull some shots. And you know what? We I always like to share the dopamine with you guys. And the reason why I'm pulling shots is because. Well, I have to do this champion chase tournament in order to get Zinogre Blade Master because, well, I skipped the previous summon rush and uh, because of that I have to complete everything. So I'm not going to be going for first or, or second place in the champion chase. All I'm going to try to do is get the fragment and then, you know, be on my way. And in order to do that, I think I'm just going to be pulling the 31 voids. You know, I'm just going to pull everything. It's a two times. Why not? gonna pull all of those ones and i'm hoping to get something uh you know hopefully get a legendary if not it is what it is not much i can uh not much i can expect i'm not sure if i'm actually missing any void apex that would be nice to get i think i kind of have all of them i guess okay i do not have awestruck so i guess he could be pretty interesting this block uh block box can be pretty good for hydra might might be good for some content but anyway uh let's start pulling and let's see what i get after this one i'm also gonna have to pull uh, a few shards on my free to play account so uh let me just go i guess in my usual channel zero international that's where the og cluster hangs out used to be the previous claw one so let's see start with a single and then go with the temples and unfortunately we still have that thingy that sh you know kind of spoils it for us so um, we're gonna have to deal with that. Okay, cage bound ally protection. This could be interesting on the free to play, but I'd still prefer somebody that does the big version of ally protection on the free to play. But let's see, temple. Hopefully we get lucky and get the legendary. If not, just give me the points. Okay, this one's a rare tag. Is the two times really on? Like, come on. It's like I already know it's a rare tag, that's so why I just straight up stopped it. So let me see. Yep, it's two times on. So please, just give me some epics. I just need to hit the 2,500 points to get the fragment and it is what it is. Okay, this one's an epic and then all rares. Demetha. I would really love to get the Demetha on my free to play. That would that would be amazing. Like if I get the Demetha, I already have Deacon. I would just have to farm an ARS. And then with the Hiker Tune, I think, which we're gonna get day 30, I could be going to Ultra Nightmare already. Like for those of you that did not see, Deadwood Jedi pulled on his free to play and he had a massive pull. So I'm hoping I might be lucky on that one as well. But come on. Give me points, just give me some epics if you're not going to give me legendary, give me some points. Okay, at least this one's going to be like two epics. Hopefully that should give me over the threshold for the points for the champion chase. But still, you know, it's not impressive. 31 void shards, I'm not expecting much. It is what it is. Another epic at the end, row one, towering titan, so nothing too crazy. I already finished the Lady Mikage fusion, so there was nothing else that I kind of needed from there. Let me see how I'm looking. Because if I did not finish it, okay, so I did not get a 2500, then I guess we're gonna pull the remnant, okay? Yeah, so actually what, I need uh, 40 more points. I think instead of pulling that, I'm just gonna finish this off with some mystery shards and, you know, it is what it is. I'm just gonna have to pull like, what's that, 40 mystery shards and call it a day because like I said, I just need enough fragments so I can fuse her. I don't wanna break the bank. I don't want to pull all my summons. I want to keep these ones. Maybe pull a few more later on. <coughs> Sorry about that. Like I said, I'm, I will be coughing a little bit. And I guess now it's time for the free to play. And on the free to play, I've been pushing pretty hard with uh, challenges. Like I finished most of them. Uh, this arena one is going to take me at least another week or two because I need to, first of all, stay uh, in gold tier for two ranking periods. I'm currently in gold one and I'm just refreshing whenever. You know, whenever I see it, I refresh and try to farm one-man defenses or any defenses that I see are easy. So I'm going to try and pu keep pushing that one. Then when it comes to the champion ones, this one's going to take a while. Artifacts, this one again. Five, six star uh, regeneration sets. going to take me a bit. 50,000 HP. going to take me a bit. And these ones, I might see. I might try to keep pushing, see if I can actually get the sacred. Because that would be nice to also pull another sacred this weekend. Because, well, uh, since we have a champion chase tournament going on right now, and I need to pull shards because I want to see what I'm gonna get. I don't really care about the fragments, but I'm not gonna mind, you know, the book. I'm not gonna mind the soul stone, some energy. So basically, trying to double dip and trying to get some good stuff. So let's start with the ancient shard, and then we're gonna pull the voids and then the sacred for last. Let's see. Any good epics? Don't give me legendaries. Okay, epic. Come on, come on, come on. 
Snorting Thug, he's not too good. I think, I think actually he might be interesting. Wait a second. 30 chance of stealing one random buff from the attacker when hit. Steals two random buffs from the top. Okay, so actually, I just thought about this. So he might actually be amazing because, well, I cannot beat just this one. We're talking about dungeons. I could not beat stage 13 because of the amount of buffs that the boss has. So I think Snorting Thunk is going to be the key uh, for me to actually beat this one. I'm definitely going to try and do that. 100% is going to be good because, well, he, like I said, he has uh, stealing buffs everywhere. Like, steals two buffs on the A2, has a chance to steal buffs on the A1. Then when hit, he has a chance to stealing one buff. So he might actually be the key. Plus, he's uh, force affinity, which means he's going to be strong affinity against that boss. So, you know what? It's actually a good pull. It's actually a good pull for the sake of what I'm trying to do. So, I'm happy about that one. Now, let's see the Void Shards. Can I actually get an epic? Like, a really good epic? That would be nice. Let's see. I don't know. Somebody, like I said, uh, Demetha, Godseeker, and it would be amazing. Anything. Or if it's a rare, a Cold Heart, maybe. Okay, rare. Come on. Okay, Scrapper. Is he actually going to be the key? to me beating the scarab but i don't actually i don't think i'm gonna try because it it's recess tomorrow but i guess he could have been the one i was not i would not throw like a million bucks on him though but he could be the one the key for me to be the the scarab king because that's that's when i'm stuck in doom tower <coughs> okay one more come on give me an epic please give me an epic i'm feeling poorly give make it make it a good day oh well since i talked about cage bond on the main account it seems like i got him here as well so he does bring ally protection and continuous buff on himself, three turn cooldown. He brings a baby decrease attack and shield on the champion for on the A1. So I might actually, like I'm not going to build him now, but he might actually be my ally protector for uh, for the Demon Lord clan boss. Unless I get something better in the next few weeks. Like I'm not going to prioritize building him. First I'm going to prioritize getting a, a core team for dungeons. You know, my Deacon Kale... Uh, Venom Mage Rathalos. After I get all of those to 60 and with masteries, only then I'm gonna tr I'm gonna start looking at uh, stuff specifically for Demon Lord. That that's how I usually do it. I always try to get my dungeons first on farm, at least on stage 20, if I can, and then only after that try to push, you know, for Nightmare, Ultra Nightmare, Demon Lord. And I guess it's time for the sacred. Let's see. Can I get something good? A Toragi, a Skull Crusher, something good for the for the clan boss. Come on. Come on, Sacred Shard Luck. Okay, okay. Okay, so Husk is not that bad, but he's not that good either, I guess, for what I'm thinking. He has the Sending Max HP hit, which can be useful against bosses. He has a Provoke on the A1. So I guess he might see, I might see some use of him for uh, maybe as an enemy max HP nuker for the dungeons or you know when I'm gonna open Hydra he might see some playtime in Hydra the only thing that I don't like for him is that he only scales off of enemy max HP whereas a uh, royal guard scales off of enemy max HP and attack so you know he could do some more damage his damage is basically capped at uh, whatever the enemy max HP head is but still I cannot complain it could have been worse you know could have been worse and like i said again i'm really happy for uh this one i'm really happy for the snorting thug that's gonna help me with the magic keep i'm definitely gonna throw a few levels in him and i'm gonna go and do the magic keep and then the next hurdle will be stage 13 of the fire knight but <coughs> i think i can do that i think i can actually do the fire knight because I will be using my, uh, you know, I always have a secret weapon when it's like, you know, a free to play account. I always have a secret weapon when it comes to defeating the Fire Knight. And that is the uncommon. I mean, there's two uncommons that are amazing, but I always like to use this guy. Sator is amazing. He has a four hitter on the A2. They can decrease the turn meter if he crits. So basically 60% turn meter pushback then he brings a baby decrease speed and then also if if i bring a an armiger in there i have a feeling like i can do it and especially because stage 13 is force that's gonna make uh sater and armiger actually be mvps for this one so hopefully i manage to pass this one and this one and then get to 13 that's gonna be what i'm gonna be trying to do uh today and tomorrow obviously first i, I want to finish this one then the demon lord and then see what i can push but yeah that's definitely going to be my goal my goal is going to be to try and get myself that other shard and pull it because uh i need more i need more options you know i want to see what else i can get what else i can get to work on even though 
maybe the points would just would just give me nothing from the Saker, but still, it, it's fun to pull shards. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it at this for today, guys. Thank you all for watching. As always, if you do enjoy my content, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel to see when I upload next, and I'm gonna see you on the next one. Peace, love, take care, everyone. Bye, guys.